y'all i am heather briggs of my so quilty life i am so happy you're here now i'm a little sad because this is the last month of flower stand this is the last two tutorials that i'll have for flower stand we're almost done it makes me so excited because i think you're just about done and i bet your quilt is looking so beautiful but first i wanted to show you and get into our flower pack which blocks we're making this month specifically in this video which block we're going to make and then show you the quilt and get started are you ready okay let's go i'm going to first show you your flower pack this is your final flower pack that you have month six. It has a little six up here. So go ahead and open it up, get your pattern out and get ready to go. But I'm going to show you the quilt really quick because this is the last time I will be opening up this quilt in a video. Ugh, it's so crazy to think about it. Okay. Okay. So for this month, we are making three blocks. Um, they're kind of large, well, one of them, but both, let me open it up. So we have um, two block 11s. So they're the little flags that hang on the side of the flower stand. And then we have one block 12, which is that like awning above the flower stand and then the word that says flowers. So that one's a pretty big one, but that'll be in the next video. But today we're just talking about blocks, block 11, blocks 11. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where they're at really quick. Let's see, so they're the flags. We're working on the top part of the quilt. So they're the flags right here. So we've got one right here. This one I believe is pink. Yeah, it's the peachy pink. So it's a little flag that hangs off the flower stand. I thought those were such cute additions to kind of fill up this space a bit with something so it just wasn't a white solid background. And then this one is the other one. Now, I'm gonna point it out in my video but I actually made a mistake with this block and I didn't know there was a mistake until the quilt was hanging at quilt market on the wall for everybody to see I was standing there at quilt market with my beautiful quilt hanging on the wall nobody was in my booth and I'm looking at it just admiring it and I'm like oh my goodness there is a mistake I don't know where my husband was but the second I found it somehow he appeared and I was like there's a mistake in my quilt and he goes what because he always gets on to me because I know okay if you're married usually are like oh you can do better with that or oh that doesn't line up so he tries because I do that to him sometimes I try not to anymore but he will point out my mistakes in my quilt and be like oh not so perfect now are you <laughs> I hope he doesn't see that <laughs> but I love him anyway and so he was so excited so excited to see a mistake in my quilt and then it turned into like, what do we do, right? Um, and I was like, we're not doing anything. He's like, can't you unpick it and requilt it? I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. But anyway, so all that to say, one of my blocks, a piece is turned the wrong way. And I bet you can't even notice, like, look, I'm hang I hang it up for you. Can you notice, can you spot the difference? Spot the difference. Do you remember those when you were a kid? Spot the difference. Okay, so one of the flags, the hanger is upside down or wrong side. I don't know. One or the other. I'm going to bring it in my top camera to talk about it, but let's see. Here are our blocks. Now, this one is correct. This is the little piece I was talking about. So, this is block 11. We've got two one peach, one green. This one was fine. It wasn't until, <laughs> I'm gonna try to hold them together. So look, it's upside down, but you can't even tell. It's totally fine, totally fine. I'm gonna bring them together. And honestly, like, if it was a like a, a worse mistake, I probably would have maybe unpicked. Okay, so here, let's try. Okay, here we go. Top camera looks great. Look at the difference, look at the difference. So today in the tutorial, I'm going to Make sure that I don't do that again. How funny would that be if I made the same mistake twice? This is my second flower stand quilt and that would not be great if I did the same mistake. So I'm gonna pay extra attention. Not that I wasn't paying attention, but I thought I thought I was doing a good job making this quilt until I saw that. Anyway, so when you're making this, just pay close attention to those right there. They're easy to get turned around, even I did it. Okay, so these are our two blocks we're making today. You have made these flowers before for in several different blocks. So for the tutorial, shortening up a bit, I am not going to make those 
in the tutorial. I am going to talk through them with you and then we're going to make the rest of the block and then hopefully not make this mistake. Okay, are you ready to get started? Let's get started. Go ahead and open up your Monsteaks flower pack, pull out your pattern, and we're going to head to the top camera. Okay, so I totally forgot my little markers, but there's not a lot of pieces, so I feel pretty confident that I will not mess up. So we're gonna go ahead and work out of your month six pattern. So go ahead again, open up those flower packs and let's get started. Now I just mentioned that we have made several of these cute little flowers. I call them little pansies, but I don't really know what they are. <laughs> They're just a cute flower. Okay, so I went ahead and made those flowers, but I wanted to talk through it really quick with you. So. You all know in step one is always draw a diagonal line on the back so your pieces that you're going to turn into corner squares. But from steps two to four, we're making this little flower unit right here. Super simple. You're just taking your fabric M and your L squares, doing your stitch and flip corners. So simple, so easy. Again, you have made these before. And then you're going to assemble your um, middle, your O unit with fabric O and fabric N. And you're going to make two, so one in each color. The next step is to put them all together using your fabric K and then just press according to the instructions on step four. So that's how quick this cute little flower goes together. Just remember to trim up your units according to the pattern right at the end of each step. I show you exactly what they should measure. So go ahead and trim off those little bits. I always have little bits that I have to trim off and if you get them off and straighten up your edges, you'll have much more success when piecing with small blocks. Okay, so now for number five, for step five, we're just piecing our fabric J and I. So first you're gonna piece your fabric J to the sides of your little flower unit. You're gonna press, and then you're going to assemble your fabric I rectangles to the top and bottom. Again, I have done that here because it's not anything that you haven't seen before. And then with step six, I went ahead and assembled our, our fabric F squares to our flag unit. And here I have my two flag units. So that is where I am at so far. Again, go ahead and trim up after each step so you know you are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit these little cuties to the side because we will use them in a little while. But I wanted to go ahead and start on step seven with you and walk you through that. So you're gonna have two different units here. You're gonna have a left and a right. And I feel like I was fine until I got to put the block together. So you'll probably be fine. Now, what you need to do first is you're going to assemble your fabric C on top and then assemble on your diagonal line and press, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to step eight. Okay, I just got done making my LP and my RP units. These are simple, these are just half square triangles. You guys know how to make them. Okay, so let's move on to step eight. Now, this is where we wanna make sure we're good to go here. So we need to position our LP and RP, our P units like this. Okay, next for step eight, we're gonna assemble our fabric E units on the top corners just like that and assemble on the diagonal line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I just finished with step eight, so now we're gonna move on to step nine. And this is where we have to pay extra close attention and where Heather did not pay close attention. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna lay it out first. And this is the reason why, so technically, you don't have to make them a left and a right right now. Unless you're using directional fabric, then you would wanna really pay attention. But my hope was, if you're already laying out this way, you're gonna keep laying it out this way for the next step, which is very important to lay it out this way. But, of course, I didn't in my first quilt. So, but we are now, and that's all that matters, right? Okay, so go ahead and lay out your units. Here we are. So you wanna make sure that your fabric C is on the bottom corners and your fabric E is on the top. So here we go. Now we're gonna move on to step nine. So for step nine, we need our Q green rectangle and our B white rectangle. So all we're doing here, again, this is where I got messed up, so I'm gonna double check. What we're doing here is we're just assembling those and assembling our Bs. So this is what it should look like. So make sure to look at your pattern to make sure this is what it's gonna look like, right? We wanna make sure. So they both go out that way, right? Out, 
Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna assemble these and then we'll move on to step 10. I should not have worn black today because I am getting strings and thread all over me. Okay, so I just finished up with step nine. Here we go. We have our little hanging units right here and I think I'm good to go. They're opposite. I think I didn't mess up, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna lay them back out. We should have an L holder unit and a right holder unit right here. Do they look like that? They do, we're good. I think we're good, yay. Okay, so we're gonna set those aside and we're gonna move on to step 10. Now for step 10, I already pieced my R and my H's because those are super simple. So go ahead and first piece your green R's to your white H's and then we're gonna assemble our fabric these rectangles to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And when I get back, we're gonna be putting our entire block 11, blocks 11, block 11 together. Okay, end units, all done. Okay, now we're gonna put them together. This is so exciting. This block is so quick. I love a quick and cute block. Okay, so first I'm gonna start on the left side. Is it the left side? I didn't label that this side with the pink unit here. Okay, first we're gonna need one of our flag units right here. We're also gonna need our left, okay, so this is the left. We're gonna need our left end unit, so L end unit, I'm gonna put this aside. And we're gonna need our, this is gonna get confusing, so we gotta pay attention. We need this right here, this is our left holder unit, okay? So we're gonna assemble both of those together first and then we're gonna assemble one L to the bottom and one fabric G to the top here and assemble both of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both this one and this one. And we can kind of see this one is taking shape. Move these over so we can make room. So this is how they are supposed to go. Wow, this is the right way. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and when I get back, we will be all finished with block, blocks, 11. Okay, I think I just hit a new record. This might be the fastest tutorial we have done yet. Okay, so here I have my blocks backwards for you, <laughs> and they're correct, which makes me so happy that I didn't make the same mistake twice because I would have felt silly. I would have felt really embarrassed if I did it twice, but um, we're good to go here. So I hope you enjoyed making your block 11. Again, they are super quick. I think it took me a total of like 30 minutes to work on these blocks. Um, super quick. I love how quick these are. I'm super excited to put them into my quilt. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below if you're sewing along and if you enjoyed this month's block 11. I will see you in the next video, which is not going to be very quick because it's a big block, but I know it'll go together beautifully and it'll look amazing in the quilt. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy quilting. Bye guys.